will equity, crowdfunding, and venture capital move to the blockchain? So sometimes when you talk about convergence, it becomes uh, technology looking for a problem. Sometimes people get so focused on the G whiz features that they forget to be to uh, reverse engineer from pain points. All value is created by solving problems. And so convergence of technologies don't mean anything if they don't solve real problems. That having been said, there's a lot of interacting forces in the financial space that are coming together towards specific but as yet unknown ends. And let's examine some of them. So first you have the digitalization, consumer finance applications like Square, PayPal, Venmo, uh, and then, you know, the Chinese uh, super apps that have taken over e-commerce that are basically flattening banks. Then you have the digital currencies that are providing safe havens for inflations in our gold 2.0 for Bitcoin and smart contracts and other DeFi and other capabilities uh, for crypto assets, including uh, uh, non-fungible tokens as well for collectibles. And then you have the rise of blockchain technology for a whole host of use cases that is both enterprise and consumer and is both done by large companies such as IBM as well as startups. So the capital allocation considerations, right now you have a couple of competing tendencies. One is towards the large mega fund structure like SoftBank where they just throw capital to gain market share. And they try to dictate markets by saying, we're going to invest so much money in this market leader that it's going to become uncatchable. Obviously, WeWork is the uh, antithesis example of that not working. And uh, the jury still remains to be seen whether you can get a large enough fund that could just kind of move move markets uh, if, you, if you do it somewhat intelligently. And then... The antithesis of, of the super large fund is the piecemeal crowdfunding. I mean, first you had IPO, uh, IPOs, I mean, uh, ICOs. And uh, we'll get into IPOs and SPACs in a minute. And then you have, um, uh, I forget all the terminologies, there's several other uh, new ones. But um, now you have uh, DeFi, like Uniswap and things like that. Uh, Susi, Susi Schwab uh, but you also have um, uh, you also have equity crowdfunding so you have Start Engine you have WeFunder and companies that are going uh, uh, getting funded uh, you know instead of traditional angel or seed rounds uh, you know through through the Jobs Act through the uh, to people, it used to be just accredited investors, but now uh, I believe anybody could uh, uh, give money and some of these sites you could donate as less as like $99. And some of these companies are raising uh, millions of dollars. So even for angel investing and uh, seed investing, I mean, you have now syndicates, you have uh, uh, angel list, and uh, you have the incubators, you have tech stars, uh, you have Y Combinator and quite a few others. And then you have the companies like Microsoft and others are doing their own uh, incubators so they can get first look. Then you have the traditional uh, venture capital funds, uh, which uh, you know rely on uh, expertise and deal flow and reputation. Um, so how are all these things going to compete against each other and interplay? So. One interesting aspect of the blockchain is that 
it it has incredible structure to it. So right now you just have a limited cap table because it's confusing. But you could have not only extremely large cap tables, uh, where you could have like hundreds of thousands perhaps of, of uh, investors to a single uh, company, but you could also have fluid. So you could have like uh, if, if then statements that you know you invest at a certain um, uh, set of terms, but you know if this happens, then uh, that happens, then you're, you, you get uh, you know an increase or a decrease or um, it, it could it could be multi-layered, so it could not be based upon what factors. Like if these five factors happen, then you get you know twenty percent more. If these three factors happen, and then these two factors happen afterwards. So basically, you know, with artificial intelligence and computation power, then you know quantum computers coming into it, it's going to make investing like more complex than it's ever been before. It's kind of like uh, investing as derivatives. Right now, you know, investing started, you know, with with spot trading. And now you have options, and then you have derivatives, and then you have all kinds of, uh, you know, advanced types of investing. It's going to be the same thing with uh, funding. You know, uh, venture capital and equity crowdfunding, when they start being infused with artificial intelligence, they're going to be, like, so complex that, you're not going to really have humans. Like they say, artificial intelligence, Elon Musk says that artificial intelligence is going, to, is, is going to be able to do everything better than humans. He didn't say some things. He said everything. And so venture capitalists will not exist at some point. It'll, it'll just be a, a venture AI. And, you know, whether, whether the wisdom of the crowds... Uh, you know, and that type of corresponding AI is more powerful than a traditional VC model. It is more tra- uh, traditional than, uh, you know, the consumer app model uh, in terms of like how money gets moved around, uh, you know, remains to be seen. But it's, it's, it's really in flux. And a lot of these things are competing with each other.